Hello, Flash humans, and welcome to the Scepter. Yes, this is the Scepter because, I mean, what's the difference? It's the M3O. The Scepter is the M3O. Now, obviously, you do have other rewards in this event as well, but they're not good. So let's ignore those and let's focus on the biggest scam. Well, the main biggest scam is this camouflage for hunt for 10k and then the tank for 30k. Now, you want to find out how much this tank costs. It's an exact copy of the M3O, basically, so you have no value there. It costs 2.8 million in free XP. 2.8 million in free XP, if we have a look. Um, first of all, you obviously have to play enough games uh, to get to 2.8 million elite XP. And then you have to pay 112,000 gold to convert that. So you're buying a camouflage for 112,000 gold, and the camouflage looks like it got shit out of a ruby factory for not passing the quality test. What the hell, Wargaming? Just because you have to close your biggest development studio means doesn't mean you have to now go to the insane asylum to hire new people to make you a fucking event. What the hell? Now, I'm gonna play the M3 or the Skepta or whatever. Now, the only reaction I'm gonna have to that vehicle is I'm going to laugh at you for wasting the equivalent to 300 euros worth of gold and free XP on a camouflage. Literally just the camouflage. It's just the camouflage. And the funny thing is you can't get it back. The, the sale value is 10,000 gold. You buy a tank for, for the equivalent value of 110,000 gold, and then you can sell it for 10,000 gold. Talk about bad value. I bought a 3080 Ti. That's better value than that thing. And I'm still stupid for that. Like, what the hell? Ugh. Like, I, I don't understand what Wargaming is thinking doing this. Now, obviously, the, the prospect of being able to convert free XP and, and credits to gold is great, but the thing is, there is already a conversion rate in the game. You know, you can buy 400 credits for one piece of gold. So why shouldn't you be able to do it the other way around? Hmm? That's weird, because, I mean, you can get gold for ads, so essentially, why shouldn't you be able to get gold for credits, for example? But obviously, what gaming doesn't want that, because then they're going to lose a lot of money, and uh, they have to give you an absolutely miserable return on the credits and the free XP, so that they continue to make money off you and obviously if you do have 2.8 million free xp then why the hell would you waste it on a camouflage like you might think it's uh, some kind of status symbol or like oh my god look at me you have a scepter i'm great no you're an idiot if you own that thing and also if you bought the crates then got it out of the crates congratulations you're slightly less of an idiot but you're still an idiot congratulations and no i don't take that back so and, and i'm not sorry because like, obviously, the, the only thing you're doing there is just encouraging Wargaming to keep doing that shit. Again and again. You know, I mean, they had the Galactic Riches event last year, which was somewhat the same. But even that was less of a scam than this year. Like, this is just blindly robbed. This is just absolutely robbed blindly right here. And, uh, sure you can sell the Scepter for the 10,000 if you don't want the tank, but... Are you really gonna trade 110,000 of value for 10,000? That's not how money works normally, right? That's that's pretty bad value, is it? And I mean, you're literally buying an M3O for 300 euros, an M3O skin for 300 euros. If it would be like a, a proprietary tank or something like that, you know, a tank that's unique to the event that you can only get there, and also like a different tank, not just a skin, because you're not buying a different tank, you're just buying a skin at that point. You know, the tank doesn't play any differently at all. So you know, like a whatever. Like some, some random... That's the thing, they probably... The inspiration for this event probably came from World of Tanks PC with the 5A Quillin that sold was sold for like 40 million credits. That's a tier 10 and that was le less of a rip-off. Even though it was completely overpriced. Um, in, in the auction uh, in World of Tanks PC. And are you paying 300 euros? 300 million credits for a camouflage. Honestly, if you, if you take your phone and you smash it right now and then you buy yourself a new phone, you get a better value than if you get the Scepter. What the actual hell? Now, yeah, it's made to pe for people that to burn their free XP and their credits and whatever, but you get no value from those. You might as well keep the free XP and the credits because they have no value right now. And if you trade them with a scepter, they still have no value. So you might as well keep them. There is no. I, I could. I could get the scepter, but I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not brain dead. I am. At, I, I mean, I am, but I'm not that brain dead. So. I really don't understand how it is possible for something like that to be made. Now, obviously, they're money hungry and whatever, but and they're just trying to. Obviously, they're trying to milk you for your credits and your free XP. That when the next tank line comes out, all the whales that have two million free XP now then have to get more free XP to get the new tank. 
You know, they're just trying to make you lose all your, your free XP and all your stuff so that they can then rob you again and then you have to pay more the next time you actually need credits and free XP for like a new tank line or something like that. Or it, maybe even in the future an event that isn't as predatory as this one. Because, I mean, what the actual hell? Like, if you, if you set those 300 euros on fire, they have pro more value because they at least keep you warm somewhat. But here now, the, the, the scepter. I mean, the camels. They're basically just an NFT anyway. But I mean, at least you can sell an NFT. I guess you can't sell the camel. Again, just another funny thing. I mean, you can sell the scepter for ten thousand gold, but hundred ten thousand gold or seven hundred fifty thousand gold if you buy it for, for uh, credits. Just to put that into perspective, um, to get ten thousand back is a bit of a scam, considering that you know you can get one gold. Like you can get four hundred credits for one gold. Like, you're just, just straight up robbing people. This is like me going into your house, taking your TV, and you agree to t that I take your TV. That's literally what this is. You know? You, ju you agree to be robbed. That's it. If you buy the vehicle. Like, what the actual hell, will Gaming? I am severely disappointed. But then again... They're gonna make their money. There's gonna be enough people that buy that damn thing. Now, I've already seen a couple. Look at that. There's one of the, the enemy team. Look at that guy. Ninja. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Come on. I mean, I know that Wargaming is scummy, but not you too. Why? I don't have a team here, but anyway. Like. What the hell? Is it, where is he even? Is he camping? Oh, he's there. Um. Like. I simply cannot understand how this exists and how then people get... I mean, you can get the Scepter from the Creator, but the drop down 0 0.2. 0 0.2. So, I mean, by the time you get the Scepter from the Creator, you might as well pay the 30k. And until you get there, you'll waste a 300 euro on a copy of the M3O. You'll probably have to waste like 8 minutes on this video, but even that's more useful. Because, you know, thank you for that. I don't buy this tank, and please, if you see a scepter in battle, don't be rude to them, but just laugh at them. Just just laugh at them, please. No, don't be mean to them or anything like that, just just laugh at them. Just laugh at them, please. That's that's what they deserve, honestly. Because it's like, it's like buying NFTs. You're just burning money. And actually, what I forgot, if the scepter is not scam enough, this thing costs 300,000 free XP! What is this? This looks like lucid cum. Anyway. Rant over. Bye.